Hey everyone, welcome back to Iraqi Dinar today. I'm Ali, and as always, I'm here to bring you the latest and most exciting updates on the Iraqi Dinar and our nation's economic developments. We've got some breaking news and insightful analysis to share today, so let's jump right in. Headline News First up, let's talk about the latest chatter around the exchange rate and the federal budget. There's a lot of buzz about whether the rate can change without the budget being finalized. Well, history shows that it can indeed happen at will, especially if they decide to start the float. The key here is the sheer size of the budget and the application of international standards, along with our upgraded banking systems. They have a solid plan, so let's watch them work it. They seem to be pushing hard in the right direction. Financial Advisors Insight Majar Mohammed, the financial advisor to Prime Minister Mohammed S. Al Sudani, recently spoke to a LR News agency, ruling out any delays in the instructions for implementing the federal budget schedules for 2024. He confidently stated that these instructions, based on the financial schedules recently approved by the House of Representatives, will not take long to be issued. The basic instructions for implementing the three year budget under Law No. 13 of 2023 are already effective, though some amendments or additions may be needed to adapt to the country's current financial situation. Parliamentary approval. On June 3, the House of Representatives voted to approve the Federal General Budget Law for 2024, making amendments to several expenditure schedules and financial allocations for governorate development. The total budget amounts to a whopping 21.9 trillion dinars, equivalent to over $153 billion, which is a 7% increase from this year's budget. Employee salaries also saw a significant rise from 59 trillion dinars last year to 62 trillion this year. Revenue and Deficit According to the budget, Iraq's general revenues amount to approximately 145 trillion dinars, leaving a deficit of 66 trillion. The government plans to bridge this gap through high oil prices and various investment amounts for service and infrastructure projects across the country. Operating Costs Increase Public operating spending has also increased, with total employee salaries rising from 59.2 trillion to 63.4 trillion in Rs. Similarly, costs for care networks and government subsidies have grown from 24.4 trillion to 26.9 trillion in Rs, an increase of 2.4 trillion. In summary, the changes in the budget and financial plans indicate a significant economic shift. While there are challenges, the direction seems promising, with substantial investments and development projects on the horizon. That's all for today's update, folks. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to Iraqi Dinar today for more in-depth analysis and updates. Drop your thoughts and questions in the comments below. This is Ali, signing off until next time. Thanks for watching. Stay informed, stay ahead. Hope you enjoyed this update. Make sure to stay tuned for more exciting news and insights. Take care and see you soon on Iraqi Dinar Today.